Well, let's now focus on the situation in Toronto. Canada's largest city has gone under a four-week lockdown, the second time since the pandemic began. The four-week lockdown began this week to slow down the city's surging COVID cases and residents will be required to stay home and only interact with those in their own households. But schools will remain open. Well, to talk more about the situation there in Toronto, we're joined by Hira Haider, a journalist from Toronto. Thanks so much for speaking to us. What is the situation there? Uh, suddenly you know, we weren't hearing too much from Canada or Toronto, but suddenly they've been brought under a four-week lockdown. So, you know what? The thing is that if this lockdown had been done during the summertime, it would have been far more better, only because the cases have spiked up. And because of that, our healthcare professionals have been saying that if this had been done before, their healthcare quality would not have deteriorated as much as it has right now. So basically, we have uh, small businesses which have closed down restaurants and gyms. Um, there are curbside pickups, but of course, the gatherings of the public has also lessened. There is a limit on them. And uh, unfortunately, it ha is, of course, just as COVID-19 has affected everybody's mental health worldwide. It's affected the mental health of the elderly, as well as parents, children, the youth, quite drastically. And what's the situation if you talk about the testing? You know, we're seeing there have been bottlenecks when, 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 when it comes to testing in UK and the US. So in terms of testing, we do have procedures. Uh, with regards to you will be calling a specific center and booking an appointment only because they are controlling how many people are entering a specific center just so that the SOPs are followed. Uh, there have also been specific, um, well, you can say stores. Uh, we call it Shoppers Drug Mart, which is quite readily available all across uh, the province of Ontario. And they have set up small testing centers where you can not only book your appointment, but you can also get yourself tested. Um, so that's pretty convenient because obviously people are avoiding going to the doctor, going to the dentist. And um, if you do feel like you have potential symptoms, you obviously do not want to come into contact with even more so people. And what, what is this lockdown like? Explain to us the nature of this lockdown. Is it an easygoing lockdown or is it a very uh, strict lockdown? Well, I think that no lockdown is easy. Um, especially because we have winter coming around the corner and this is the holiday season where families and friends gather all across the world together. But even more so in Canada, you know, with the harsh winters that we have here, uh, there is always a hike in seasonal depression. However, this year, I feel like it's going to be even more so. There are people who have been complaining about their mental health deteriorating. Um, but, you know, our government and mental health profession professionals have been trying their best to attend to the public. Uh, we have lots of online um, options where people can reach out to, you know, psychotherapists and psychologists and just a friend to talk to. So we have those means. However, it is, of course, um, affecting individuals, mostly because, you know, everybody was expecting that by the time winter would come around, uh, Christmas would come around, New Year, things would have settled however that's of course not the case and public gatherings have lessened to 10 or less people within uh, one household and that's being very strictly monitored all right uh, Hira, thank you so much for joining us and speaking to us from toronto